Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to find out what's going to be in Modern Warfare 3, then you have come to the right place. Here we are. We actually have the Modern Warfare 3 blog up here right now. This did come out a couple of days ago. I am quite late to the party, unfortunately. But here we go. We are going to have a look at this anyway. I, I have quickly gone over this. Um, for this kind of just part, it kind of just explains that pretty much we are going to be having 16 classic maps. Um for the uh from the launch launch of modern warfare 2 2009 and it's going to be coming into modern warfare 3 which is really exciting um so first off the main maps that we are going to be getting afghan derail estate favela uh, karachi um high rise invasion quarry rundown ross scrapyard skid row sub base terminal underpass and wasteland very excited for this going to be absolutely amazing really can't wait of course uh ground war is going to be returning i'm not really all too surprised i do have a feeling that either the dance will be returning for ground war or it's going to be the warzone map uh supposedly rebirth is, is supposed to be coming back as well though this is just stuff that i've heard uh from people so of course it, it might be true it also might not be um, on top of that, in terms of classic gameplay, uh, we have map voting that returns. We also have classic minimap behavior, which is red dots indicating when an enemy is firing from an unsuppressed weapon. All chosen perks are available at the start, start of the match. It's like Modern Warfare 2. Basically, you would have to progress through the match, get kills, so you can activate your other perks. Really, really stupid, but there we go. And core multiplayer health is increased to 150, in, uh, which is increasing the time to kill, which I think a lot of people are going to be very happy about. So that's that's a very good thing. There is a new thing called Tax Stance. Seems to be, yeah, it says a perfect middle ground between hip fire and also aiming down sight. So should be interesting to see what that's going to fully entail new stuff to uh loadouts create a class and also we're gonna have some aftermarket parts which um as you can see here this is a set uh a special set of customization options allowing you to focus on your preferred and specific play style so you know if you're kind of like the run and gun kind of person you can basically make it so your gun is suited for that or if you're the kind of guy to just sit back relax then you can do that as well so movement in modern warfare 3 it is it seems that it's going to go back to the normal movement that we were kind of used to in warzone um so we're gonna have sly cancelling which is going to be great i was actually a massive fan of the sly cancel i know a lot of people weren't but i was i loved it to be 100 percent honest and we also have reload cancelling Thank God that's coming back. Very glad. Um, mantling, you can mantle faster, which is good. Uh, fire during and immediately after sliding. That's very good. Tactical sprint durations are increased. That's nice. I'm going to be 100% honest. Not really too bothered about the whole zombies thing because I'm going to be 100% honest. I mean, I love zombies. Um, I know a lot of people uh, do as well. And a lot of people know that I love zombies. But to be 100% honest, I'm not really... I don't really have my hopes up uh, for the Sea of Zombies, so it's going to be 100% honest and put that out there. I believe there is going to be a beta for this. I don't know if there's going to be an alpha. I've not seen anything specifically saying that there's going to be an alpha for Modern Warfare 3. However, we do know that there's going to be a beta, and this game is going to be releasing on the 10th of November. If you want to go ahead and pre-order this, if you are on the PC, then you can go ahead and pre-order on Steam. It is up there right now. Um, it is costing £60 for the standard, the standard version. It's quite a bit, not going to lie, but I mean, there we go. Each game is getting more expensive now. To be honest, I'm just glad that we are getting the classic maps back. That's going to be exciting. And I do wonder, what guns are they going to bring back? Will they bring back the ACR? Will they bring back the Intervention? And it really does seem that we are going to go back to kind of like the Warzone days. Like I said, we're going to have Sly Cancelling, Reload Cancelling as well. It's going to be good. And I'm very excited to see what Modern Warfare 3 has to offer. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you all in the next video. Peace.